Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So with my friends at yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today is the corner to corner crochet blanket. Is this blanket uh, square or is it rectangle? It's technically square, but I know some genius with a J is gonna say, Michael, I wish that you would have filmed the rectangle instead. So hold on to your boots. I'm I did a practice session. So here's the square, I just didn't finish it. And here's the rectangle. So I'm gonna be teaching both of those today. So that should be off your plate for requests. You can use any size yarn that you want as long as the hook complements it. I This is a thicker yarn, the Karen Spice Cakes. So it is using a, a size L and eight millimeter crochet hook. But if you wanna use something like Red Heart Super Saver, just look at the ball band and just match the yarn request uh, for the hook size. So today I'm going to get right into it. This is a very easy pattern, like really super easy. When I looked at the instructions, I'm like, oh my god, no. And then once I got on the rhythm of this, I'm like, woo, I was like flying high. You know, probably the, the yarn fumes. So today I'm going to get started. I'm going to teach the square first and then I'm going to reverse back out. So if you don't want to see a square, you want to follow it up until I talk about it starting to decrease. I'll see in the, you'll see, well, because I'll put it there for you. In the video description, the video information, there's time chapters and there will be a chapter saying that the rectangle decrease starts there. So I will start decreasing on the one side only and increasing on the other to create the rectangle. And we'll be doing that today. So today is a fabulous day here at the Crochet Crowd. We hope it is for you too. And without further ado, let's stop the chitter chatter and let's get at her. And let's get on with the corner to corner with single crochet. Tell us. I'm feeling a little bit colorful today, so if I'm dropping any uh, lots of sarcasm, <laughs> it's your lucky day. So we're going to start off with the slip knot, so let's just do that. This is considered an easy level pattern, and it obviously depends on your frame set as well. So we're going to start off with the slip knot, and we are going to start, it says with the color A, so that's just the A is the color, so that's indigo. And what we have is that you're going to chain three, so let's chain three. So one, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so let's uh, begin row number one next. So row number one, you're going to single crochet third chain from the hook. It's the first chain that you started with. I know, rocket science today. And so what we want to do there is just single crochet. So just reach on over to the first one and single crochet in. And this will count as one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. Use your imagination. It works, trust me. I did my testing. And so this is considered row number one. And let's turn our work and let's go for row number two. It will look better than this. You just gotta be patient. Let's start row number two next. <laughs> so row number two, you have to trust in this because I wasn't trusting in this and I was starting to come up with conspiracies in my brain. So I'm going to chain three. I thought that counts as a double crochet, it does not. So just chain three and just shut up and do it. So one, two and three sorry about that and well am I sorry ah, I don't know so what I want to do is chain three and then I'm going to reach for the single for the space it's hard to see fake it or make it just jam it directly down the center and what you want to do there is you're going to single crochet into that space just fake it it'll become more obvious later so you're gonna single crochet first chain one and one single crochet and that was row number two. So you can see that it almost looks like a 90 degree turn now, right? This will tighten up, don't worry about it. And so um, let's turn our work and let's begin row number three. So everything going forward, whether you're the rectangle or you're a square today, <laughs> um, it's gonna be the same information. It just is gonna get wider. I know, rocket science, as I said, I gotta come up with a new sign because you're gonna get sick of it today. So we're gonna chain three. So one, two, three. And I want you to jam your hook into the chain one space. Do you see the legs of the first single crochet? Do you see the legs of the second crochet? There's a space that's in between and what I need is to single crochet there. So this chain three counts as a single crochet in a chain one space. And then you're going to chain one and you're gonna come into this uh, chain three space that you created. And you're because you're gonna be growing it and making it bigger, you're gonna put in a single crochet, chain one and one single crochet. And you can see, look, look at that 90 degree turn. Don't worry about this back end. 
<laughs> so that's number three. So let's turn and work and begin number four. And it's just going to be repeating with, with what you already know at this point. So now you know what the rhythm is. Well, maybe not, but we can do it again. So let's chain three. So it's always going to start the same. So one, two, three. And you're going to come into this space. So look for the legs at the first. You see the two legs? You see the two legs of the other one? It's the space that's in between. And you're going to single crochet there chain one, and then you're going to look for the next chain and it's going to become easier to see. Okay, chain one, and now the last one here, that chain three is going to be a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet into the same stitch. And you see that keeps it as being 90 degrees. <laughs> look at that, isn't that better? Just had to tighten it up. <laughs> So I'm going to show you a couple more times and then I will start showing you the decrease for the square and then I'll show you the decrease for the rectangle. Mm -hmm. It's this simple, folks. So we're going to turn our work. We're just going to go back and forth in the rows until you get the width that you want because you're growing it on both sides. Both sides will be the same. Now the blanket says to keep growing until you have 48 inches wide, 48 inches wide. But if you want something more customized, you just keep on going. If you are substituting the yarn, I don't know how much yarn you're going to need because the sample is done with this thicker yarn, but you can just keep going back and forth to just kind of roughly guess how much yarn you're going to need. I really don't know what that solution is. So I'm going to show you a few more times and it's exactly what you know. So let's begin the next row. So I'm going to do three rows with you in this stent or, or, or the section. So we're going to chain three. Look for the space. I don't even know if my tips help half the time, but look for the legs of the first single crochet, legs for the second, and jam it right into the space and single crochet there. Chain one, and then look for the next space. So all the spaces across are easier to see. So chain one. So what kind of stitch is this called? Yeah, that's right, it's called the moss stitch. So you look for the last chain three space, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So you're always gonna do that on the edge when you're growing it and it will make it taller on this side as well as the way you started it, it keeps it going. So a turn, chain three, look for the legs of those stitches and just go in between, because that's where the space is, chain one and keep looking. So if you're using the thick yarn, this thing, this monster is gonna go so fast. Don't blink because you might have your blanket done. Okay, I may be exaggerating a bit. So chain one, come right to the end. Let's keep making it bigger. So single crochet, chain one, single. And do you see the extra bigger spaces? Don't worry about it, that's part of it. So don't email me about that. <laughs> People email me about other things, but. Okay, so we're gonna chain up three. This is the last time I'll show you the growth and then we'll talk about the decrease. So into the space in between the legs of the two and chain one, single crochet into the space, chain one and keep doing that all the way across. I'm finding this a little bit too enjoyable. I don't know about you at home. So I'm gonna I increase one more time. So in the end, single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. So what I'm going to do for myself is that eventually I'm going to reverse back everything to this point for the rectangle. Uh, but for the next portion of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the, rec uh, the square. And so that's what my goal is. So I'm just going to throw in a stitch marker, spare piece of yarn so I can mark where I am. And so I know where to subtract back out when I do my rec uh, rectangle. Let's begin to do the square decrease. Does it matter if I start on this side or this side? No, it really doesn't. So you decide where you wanna go and the row itself will decrease starting on both sides in this next one. The rectangle is slightly different, which we'll talk about when we get there. So you're going to turn your work and how you're going to do it is that we've been chaining three when we start. We wanna only chain two this time. So we're gonna chain two and we're going to skip the first single crochet. So we've been doing that anyway. And we're gonna come in between the legs that we've been doing here. Okay, this is the first time we're decreasing. So you'll be going into that space and single crocheting. And then you're just going to chain one and single crochet into the spaces all the way down to the other side, except for the final two that we'll have. And we'll talk about that in a second. So you just keep on going and you really wanna look for where the last few stitches are. 
So what we have is that we have the chain three space there, we have the space here. So after you've chained one, you are going to single crochet here. You're not gonna chain one. Nope, that's true, no chain one, and you're gonna come in right to the last space and single crochet. So the last two single crochets are technically one after the other, and it forces it to make a turn. Oh, I know, your life is complete today. And you notice that it turned here? I know. So we're gonna turn our work and show you more decreasing. So the decreasing is pretty much all the same until you get to the very end, which I will cover. And so what are you gonna do? You're gonna chain two, and you're going to skip now, this is row number two, which you will repeat now over and over and over and close to the end. So skip the first two, so you're no longer going between the legs. So you'll go after the second one, and you're gonna single crochet in. Chain one, go into the space, and you're doing this until you can see the last two spaces that are left. So it's this one plus this one. See how it's close to the edge? So it's this one and this one. So after you've done the chain one, come into the next, space, single crochet, and jump to the last space and single crochet with no chain ones in between, and therefore it stays flat. And look at that. I know. Turn to work. Let's continue. Chain two. You're skipping the first two, and you're going right to the space, single crochet. Chain one, and you're going to look until you can see the last two, which I can see. So single crochet, and single crochet. So you're gonna continue this pattern until it gets to this small. So if you've gone a big afghan, it's gonna take you a while to get there. But what you need to do is that the next row is gonna be slightly different. So you can see that you have one, two, three single crochets. So it says repeat this until you see three single crochets. So that chain two, don't count that. So one, two, and three. So when you turn your work, this is in the instructions, it says to chain two, Skip the first two, which is there. You're gonna single crochet into the next and single crochet into the last. Okay. Then turn your work and this is the last row. So you're just going to chain only one. That's right, only chain one. And you are going to skip the first two and you're gonna come right into the space and single crochet. And that is the end of your blanket. So you see that you've gone from corner to corner. It has stayed pretty much square. And what I'm going to do next is that you, you can have fun. There's no border to this. If you'd like to add a border, you can just improvise. Um, it's not suggested, but there is tassels which are suggested on the pattern, just like you see here. So that's something that you can figure out. Okay, so for those that did not want to do a square, I can, I'm going to reverse myself back and get ready to show you how to do a rectangle, which is a little bit more fan dangly, but it's still fun. And at least to my point of view, and that's what our story is going to begin next. So let's cover the rectangles, because I know somebody's gonna ask me and I'm gonna say, I never filmed it, but I am filming it, so shh, 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 shh. <laughs> so what we have here is that we've been growing out both sides at the same time, so it, it grows out. To do a rectangle, what happens is that if the rectangle is gonna be like this, this side still needs to grow outward, but this side has to continue to decrease, so the number of the stitches will not change. And so when you look at my sample that I did, see, it's the same thing. So we, we've grown it out, and then we said, okay, well, we want a, a rectangle, so this side has to decrease while this side increases. And that is the most confusing thing that people have for C to C. So what I'm gonna suggest, and this is not written in the pattern, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway, is that we are going to say, I'm happy with the width of this, so whatever that you want it to match, this is the maximum of the width, and now we're gonna make it longer because we're gonna turn it to a rectangle. So I'm gonna shut up now and just <laughs> demonstrate, sorry, I'm mansplaining. <laughs> so I'm going to show it to you, and the first time that we've decided that we wanna make this a rectangle, I want you to do a decrease here. And how we're gonna do that is that you are going to chain one and two. So you're gonna chain two completely. And we're going to skip the first double crochet. And because it's the first time doing it, it's slightly different from the rest of the rows. And I want you to go in between the legs of the, of the two. So it's this space here, and we are going to single crochet there. That's the first time that we have to start decreasing. And now you're going to chain one, and you're just gonna come into the spaces all the way to the other side. So 
I've decided that this is my decrease side and the other side is my increase side and it's gonna become very obvious after two rows. So when I get to the other side, I don't wanna do a decrease because it's not gonna be a square. And so when I get to my last space here, so after the chain one, you will still put in your single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. So you can already see that this side is kind of made a turn already, and this side is continuing to grow. So let's turn our work. To turn the work, this side, we're gonna keep it going longer, so we need to do an increase. So you're still gonna chain your three to cause that to happen. You are still going to put in your single crochet between the two single crochets. So look for the legs, and you're going to single crochet into that one, and chain one, and keep going into the spaces. And the goal is, is to watch where you're going to finish because the other side is considered the decrease side. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so what I have here is that I have two spaces left. I have the outside one here and this one. So after you've done the chain one, you were just gonna jump to the next space, which is the second space in and then you're gonna come into this one that's right on the edge and you're gonna single crochet that one. So there's not a chain one that separates it. So it still should look flat. So when you turn your work, you're on the decrease side of this and this side is gonna keep on getting bigger. So to do this, chain one and two, so chain two completely. And now going forward on the decrease sides, you're gonna skip the first two and go right into the space and single crochet. See, we, only, we split the, uh, the two uh, single crochets last time because we were just starting the decrease, but now that it's been established, that's how we're gonna begin. So you're gonna chain one and keep going into the spaces up until the end. And you're gonna go and make this as long as you feel like it. There's no rules. And so this side is the increase side. So in the last chain three space, you're gonna single crochet chain one and single crochet. And then you're gonna turn your work and continue along. So this is the increase side. So chain three, go between the two single crochets, single and chain one. And what you're just watching for is the end of the row. Now, when I was doing my swatch, um, I was missing it completely because I wasn't understanding it. So I'm hopefully trying to explain it the best I can. So you're gonna come all the way across and you're gonna look for the final two. So it's right here and here. So make sure you chain one before you start this. So you're gonna come into the second last one, single crochet, and come into the last one and single crochet. So what I was doing that was causing my mistake is that I was thinking that this is my last one and it was causing it to indentate in and miss a stitch completely. So make sure you do come right to the last one. So now I'm just gonna show one more time. So to start a decrease side, chain two, skip the first two single crochets and single and chain one and keep doing that and the other side is an increase so we will finish in that formation so what i'm going to demonstrate in just a few seconds from now is how to start decreasing on both sides so we're going to increase and say that you're happy with the length of your whole blanket and now you just wanna finish off the final little corner here. That's what we're gonna cover next. So let's do a rectangle decrease itself. So we're going to come in and we're gonna finish off the final section. And it's really quite easy, you already know what to do. But the very first time that you start this side, which has been the increase side, is that you are going to chain only two. And the first time you are gonna come in between the two single crochets and single there. You're only doing it for the first time you're starting a decrease on a side. So then chain one, and on the other side, you're still looking for where it decreases and still being mindful of the last two spaces that you have left. So depending on the size of your blanket, it might take you a while to get there. So you're looking for the last two spaces. So it's this one and this one. So make sure you chain one before you start. So single into that space and single into the last. And then turn your work and let's, let's continue on. So to continue on, we wanna start with the decrease, so chain up two. This side has already been decreasing, so we're just gonna skip the two singles and just go right for the next space. 
chain one and carry on. And so this side that has been the increase the whole time, we're looking for the final two spaces that are left. So it's this one and this one. So after the chain one, single to the second last one, and then single into the last space. And that will keep that equal in height. Turn your work. So now we have already established that this side is also in the increase or the decrease. So you're gonna chain up two and you're gonna skip the first two now and then single to the next and carry on until you see the last two spaces, which is here and here. So after you do a chain one, one single in each with no chain ones that separate them. So you don't create any space, turn your work and continue along. So chain two, skip the first two, single into the next, chain one, and you're going to go into the last two. Okay, so single and single. So it says in the pattern, uh, repeat until there's three uh, single crochets remaining. It's one, two, and three. This chain two doesn't count as a stitch. So what you can do, you can just follow along with me too, but this is where the next row picks up in the pattern. So what you're just doing is just turning your work and you're gonna chain two and you're gonna skip the first two as you have been, single crochet into the next one and single crochet into the last one. I know, no big deal, right? And then the very final row, chain up only one and you are going to skip right into this space right here and single crochet in and that's the end of your journey. So you can see that you've learned how either to do a square or a rectangle. The spaces on the outside to look consistent with each other. So that's part of the charm. You can add your tassels if you want, but this is the corner to corner using single crochet with the moss stitch and you can see it holds its shape pretty well. And actually I'm really quite happy with it. We hope you have a great day. And it's a super day right here on the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends at Yarnspirations.com.